Hi traders, welcome to this live webinar. Sorry for that small delay uh, in this start. We're gonna take a look now at the 15th session here of uh, automated trading briefings, uh, 22nd of September. We're gonna take a look at uh, the London Open advanced already, uh, EA a little bit sooner than, uh, than planned, so that's great. Uh, we got a special dedicated webinar for that actually coming up on the 5th of October. This is kind of a preview to that, uh, sharing some things. And the 5th of October is the main webinar where Nenneth and I will be co-hosting that live webinar and explaining all the details of this LOAEA. It's a fully automated trading system based on the London Open, basically, and uh, is suitable for trading uh, Forex, Basically, the main best currency pair is the euro versus the Australian dollar. The euro odd, funny enough, had wonderful results. And I'll share something uh, about that in today's webinar already. And uh, and maybe also very promising, at least in backtesting. But we want to do some live trading as well. Uh, Bitcoin, in fact, through XBT USD. So that's very exciting. That's that's a first. So yeah, we got uh, this uh, new EA coming up. Uh, actually, it's already available, to be honest, to be fully uh, clear. But uh, yeah, we have that webinar with all the details coming up on the Monday, the 5th of October. The link you will find in the chat box, actually, on the right side, if you're looking live, if you're looking at the, you know, the recording later on, you'll see the links in the description box below the YouTube video or in the article. And you can um, you can sign up for that lifetime. Oh, sorry for that webinar um, on the fifth of October, Monday, somewhere around four p.m. GMT. I think that's uh, about roughly two weeks from now. I think. All right, so let's move on and uh, take a look at the London Open Advanced EA. First of all, you can find more information. Here in the product boxes, if you wanted to uh, take a look there, you can find, for instance, the back testing done with 99.9% .9 model accuracy. If you click on this link right here, here you can see uh, an image showing the equity curve. And the same information you'll find here is just different ways of joining. You can either, uh, well, I might as well tell you, you can either uh, pay a one-time fee of 299 euros, that's a 40% discount at the moment, compared to the regular 499, it's a one-time fee, so you'll have it access for lifetime. So it's, I think, very affordable, but if that is still too much by any chance, you can also get a sponsored version, that's for free, but then you have to uh, set up an account with one of our partner brokers, like at this moment, Key2 Markets and HYCM, for instance. So, but then it's for free. So up to you, if you wanna work with your own broker, you can do that, but then you have to go for the paid version uh, but it's only a one-time fee. It is not a rental. It's just uh, once and that's it. Uh, but anyhow, uh, so what I, why I'm explaining that is, first of all, because you'll see the same information on both of these uh, uh, tabs and pages. But there you'll also see the back testing. So let's take a look at that. Now, what I like about the back testing is that it's 10 years 10 and a half years on the euro odd, three and a half years on Bitcoin. So that is a, a, you know, a lot of data and that shows that it's very robust. Uh, so I like that about uh, this, this particular EA. Uh, one second, folks. All right, so I think that's the really uh, a very Big benefit of the London Open uh, LOA EA. Now, first of all, is I should mention it's fully automated, 100% entries, exits. You'll get access to the EA when you sign up as a member and also to the LOA indicator. So you see exits, you see the stop loss and targets uh, so that you have yourself have an idea when you could expect the trade to close. That just is from a psychological point of view. Otherwise, you know, you don't know what's happening. You're, not, you're so that's just easy kind of levels to see on the charts, you know, so that you can uh, understand what's going on. 
Uh, so there are two things, two indicators you'll get. The EA itself and, and the target and stop loss levels. And yeah, I, I'm impressed by this um, the backtest history. Now, granted, the return itself is not as impressive for Forex and CFD standards. 5.73% on average per month. Uh, but it's not bad. It still adds up. If you, you know, keep perhaps the money on the account and let it grow, for instance, it can still add up if you do that uh, a few years, uh, 5.7%, although it doesn't sound that much on a monthly basis, it does add up when it's accumulative, you know, it accumulates and it's cumulative, sorry. Um, so, for I mean, this is, of course, an exaggerated example, obviously, no one's ever going to do this, but in theory... A thousand dollars would then turn into what is it? Uh, more than a million, uh, but it takes, of course, quite some time—ten years. But still, not bad, right? So I would say that this is not maybe the most exciting EA. I'm very, you know, being very honest with you here, in, in the sense for, in the sense that this is our own EA. So uh, I, I, you know, don't want to be too harsh on it either. But you know, from a profit point of view, it's not super, super, super uh, exciting. But on the other hand, it is uh, not bad, 5.7%, and there's also a very lengthy and robust backtesting that backs it up. And uh, having a backtesting of 10 and a half years shows that it really can survive a lot of different periods of time, a lot of different macro and economic situations, a lot of different uh, global situations. So it's quite robust. That's, on the flip side, the advantage. And a drawdown of 35% is also quite uh, tolerable. So yeah, there's a lot of other advantages, I think. This is the, the test on the Euro odd. I will not dive into everything. I wanna keep some uh, goodies for the webinar on the 5th of October, but I will share uh, quickly the, uh, the Bitcoin test as well. We're also trading the Euro odd live at this moment on a live trading account. And I will now show you Bitcoin backtesting. Uh, Ali has a question from us for for us in the meantime about the EA for Black Widow and Nanet. As far as I know, is working on that. Indeed, I don't know his status, how far he is on that, though, to be honest. But that is a, a mission that, as, as far as I know, he's working on. Indeed. So on this. Strategy or this this elite currency my Epic book page you will not only find uh, systems that we are trading live and forward trading. More information about Rush EA by the way can be expected next week. So tune in to next week for another EA uh, that's coming up from Mislav Nikolic his second, uh, and will be available through Elite Currency as well um, at the beginning of October. All right, so that's coming up soon uh and more information is expected to be available next week by the way anyhow uh below the systems four systems basically at this moment four eas and of course uh, one semi-automated uh, trading system black widow at this moment through ecs live signals below that you see strategies and that's the back testing so there is rush ea ultimate EA, uh zeus ea london open ea and also london open ea bitcoin so the loa ea is your odd and the LOA EA Bitcoin, of course, obviously is Bitcoin. So let's take a look at that. That is three and a half years of testing. Also, um, three and a half years is very, very good. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, 10 and a half years is just crazy long. Uh, three and a half years is very, very solid, to be honest. Uh, it's a little bit higher, 6.6%. The drawdown is lower, 13.5%. And that's because we don't want to work with too much leverage on Bitcoin. Bitcoin does not really, through XBT, USD, does not really allow for that much leverage. We used an A21 leverage with 2% risk per setup. The Euro odd, I think, was with 2.5% setup, 2.5% uh, risk, if I remember correctly, 2 or 2.5, two and, uh, and uh, about 50 pip spread. This is new to us. I'll be, again, here fully transparent. Bitcoin trading, Bitcoin in such a way is new to us. That's why uh, we're going to demonstrated first of all so we're not 
that far that we would say let's trade this live. No, no, absolutely not. But it's promising from a backtesting point of view. Eurod, of course, is different. We have backtested uh, as well, but we're also live trading it. We know uh, the forex market much better than uh, any any crypto currency EA. That's totally new for us, so we're very cautious with that. But the first step is there. The first sign is positive uh, when considering that. Uh, monthly 6.6 and the drawdown his, the historical drawdown in those three and a half years is only 13 and a half percent the reason why we don't want to go ho higher than that is because really the leverage is quite limited as far as we can see uh, you get a lot of difficulties if you go higher than that uh, so higher drawdown is probably not possible uh, but still as you can see very nice stable uh, results mostly mo positive months to be honest as you can see so we'll dive into all those stats two weeks from now uh, in, in the London Open EA uh, webinar. But that's very promising. Uh, live trading here is slow. You know, this is something that you cannot expect too much from because it's really a long-term EA um, where I think quarter quarterly results are maybe give some indication. You can't really expect anything significant yet in, in one or two months of trading, basically. Uh, if you're lucky, it could have gone up, uh, but it doesn't have to. It's it's much more of a longer term EA uh, than, than just looking at one, two months results. You gotta be patient. This is really building up the account slowly but surely. Uh, that needs time. I would look at this EA on a, from a yearly perspective, probably. All right, so yeah, I think that that's it for the moment. I think it's just a, a, a useful EA to have some diversification. I don't think that this is an EA that you want to have, uh, you know, trade with a lot of capital, but it's a good as risk diversification, a little bit of capital within your portfolio. Um, can't hurt I think either so it's a good extra one to have besides other EAs and I would consider other EAs more important than main EAs but it's not bad to have as a, as a diversification that's how I see the London Open EA events EA uh, LOA EA sorry uh, as a nice extra uh, and uh, as an account builder for long term looking at results after a year six to twelve months because uh, it you know that 5.7% or so what was it on average expected average return it will not really be noticeable um until you leave it you know maybe accumulate for for a year or so then then the gains start to become a little bit more interesting so that's an early introduction to LOA EA. That's we're going to leave it at that unless you have any follow-up questions. Uh, but once again, 5th of October, there will be a full webinar on the LOA, LOA EA. It is already available now, though, if you wanted to join for free through sponsorship once again or uh, for 40% discount at one-time price of 299 euro. That's it. Uh, next week, once again, Russia, new EA from Islam Nikolic coming up. And uh, otherwise, I wanted to talk. I have to see a question in our audience, so feel free to ask more questions, by the way. I'm going to open up our uh, form where you can ask questions before and see if there were any questions uh, that you asked throughout the week. And I want to talk a little bit about creating an EA and what kind of challenges uh, one bumps into. <clears throat> when doing that and good things to look out for that's what I'm at least noticing myself in this process maybe not very um, you know big things but small little details add up and yeah first let me address Rob's question so let me open up uh, let's see ultimate EA my FX book from Islav Nikolic. And with support for myself with this EA. All right. 
and the profit share as well. Okay. So let's see. Tenth uh, of June. So, Rob, for those that don't see the question, are as is asking. He started the tenth of June, but his performance is different than of Mislav. So let's take a look at that. All right. Uh, something didn't work out. Ah, I did the 10th of June, 2019 by accident. One second. We need 2020, I assume. All right. So yes, correct. On profit share, it indeed looks to be down about that amount that you mentioned. A little bit more, actually. You have a little bit less, but yeah, it's, it's very close, so that, that seems to be correct. Uh, uh, this hasn't been updated as well since the 17th of September, I see. Yeah, I have to work on that. I, I reached out through to Key2 Markets how I can... Uh, how to up how to update this? I'm working on that. that this should be auto updated, so that could be plus minus uh, indeed that uh, fig figure. Uh, all right, and then we have Mislav. Let's take a look. Uh, 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 let's see, 17th, this was last updated 17th of September. So let me, just to make it very clear, let me just also use 17th of September as end date here. Okay, one second. There we go. This should be 17th of September as end date. And it is indeed above the starting spot here, correct? And here's below the starting spot. Looks like uh, there were more wins on the 18th of August with his account. Otherwise, the equity curve visually looks the same with ups and downs. It's just it probably, I suspect that he had uh, a big you know, some win that Keto Markets didn't have. And he did. And those things can happen. Um, you know, when you're using a different broker, just random differences because it works literally with, uh, yeah, it literally works with tens, uh, decimal of uh, uh, digits. So if, for instance, one broker has price going through the one, through an EMA, by 0.1 pip, it could invalidate a setup, but on another broker not. So those small differences can can add up. Otherwise, the equity curve itself is basically the same, as you can see, with the ups and downs. Maybe you can't see it. I can try to make it a little bit more. Uh, let's see if this works. I'm not sure if that works. No. But anyhow, you have first uh, down up, down, up, down, up, as you can see here as well, then down, up, uh, then down, up, down, down, up, down, and then three wave up again, three wave up. So it's literally the same path. It just seems like some, some in this push up, one or two wins was missed perhaps. Uh, Ali's adding that we still have added capital. Correct. He did, 
But I'm not sure if that should impact the percentage, though. Maybe it could, indeed. I don't know, actually. It's a good question. I don't know how MavFix book works with this. This is... I don't know if, if adding capital would necessarily impact the percentage, though. It would the balance, certainly, right? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Definitely the balance. Not sure about the growth. Uh, I can double check with myself though. Uh, yeah, the balance, if you use the balance tab, then definitely that is because Mislav added the uh, capital. That's for sure, indeed, at when the drawdown. So what he did was, he mentioned that last week, indeed. Uh, he took profit when there was a big spike up and then added the capital actually when there was a drawdown. It was actually, uh, Ali was actually a webinar live in our, uh, 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 in, in these webinars one week ago. You can find it here in Crowdcast 2. Just go to session number 14. So, but with regard to the percentages, I can double check with uh, Mislav. I think it's just uh, a small difference in a couple of trades that ultimately, uh, Add it up to to that. It can go quickly because if you miss two trades, uh, it could add up to to about this difference. Two to three trades could be the difference uh, in uh, that can add up to about twenty percent. Sometimes even one trade. But all right, and yeah, what I wanted to talk about. Let me just check if there are any questions actually in the form. In the meantime, I will share my charts here. So, yeah, I'm working. As you know, already a long time on the EAs with fractals. That hasn't gone all too far, to be honest, uh, yet. But I keep working on it, and you know, people, who, you know, persist. Um, hopefully, we'll we'll get to their end goal finally. So uh, I'm not the fastest uh, in working uh, and getting EA finished, but I keep working on it. So let's see. But I'm also working at the same time. I'm using. Uh, the information and knowledge I gained from uh, the EA on working on a, a manual system. That's maybe something that Ali would like to hear. Um, that I will trade myself and also will be sending signals on ECS Live. I'm working on that four hour world with pending orders. So that, and, and little trade management, so that it I'm able to monitor the charts and, and trade the system without me being glued to every candle, without having to see every single, uh, you know, chart opening and move up and down within within the next 15 minutes, right? So a bit more slower paced and uh, yeah, not as intensive so that I could be able to to do that on a consistent basis because trading that intensively is just not something I can do within my time schedule at this moment at least and the last uh, I guess uh, one and a half years already in the meantime but I realize I think there are many traders out there who, who, who might be in the same spot as me so it might not be that bad so I'm working on that together with EA yes exactly I thought that Ali might be happy with that. And yeah, my, my main focus is on fractals and moving averages. Maybe you would have guessed that in FIBS. <laughs> those are tools, of course, I've been using in my discretionary trading in the past. And I like those tools. So obviously also using that. Let's see. I 
you know, what I'm now doing is backtesting and uh, forward, forward demo trading. Uh, once I feel more confident in the whole approach, I will also start to forward live trade. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably focus on your dollar, pound dollar. Yeah, and not be too diverse on uh, too many pairs. Indeed. Yes, I was thinking the same actually, Ali, indeed, because, yeah, it just make, makes sense not to to focus on something that is achievable with the time one has and not to be too uh, widespread on too many instruments and stuff like that. Maybe pound yen because it's really such a beautiful uh, volatility there and price movements, but maybe probably not more than those three at, at the moment, but starting with euro and then, then pound. What I notice is that, at least I have this, I don't know, uh, when, when looking at creating systems, I notice that uh, it's easy to kind of, because you see so much of the past, it's easy to use your rules that you created for testing, but not really fully implement those rules 100% correctly because you already see so much of it. So you might forget easily and this is maybe a silly tip, I don't know, but you might easily miss a certain setup uh, because you see that that just instinctively you see that price didn't go anywhere. Uh, so you kind of overlook that, not on purpose, just just by accident. And, and it's so important to be really careful in having your rules written down and consistently and diligently you know using the same rules for every single candle as you go along and making sure that you capture all those potential setups uh, in backtesting so that you really know what the result was of that of your system in backtesting because it's so easy to fiddle with the rules as you go along a little bit changing a little bit and you can at the beginning but make sure that then you go back and and know that the results are based on the same rules that's all right uh, or if you didn't write things clearly down and you start to interpret it accidentally in a different way so very important to have the rules very clearly written now those rules can change i'm not saying it should be you know obviously if the system is not as profitable as you were hoping for you might want to change it in some way to make it better but eventually you got to get to a spot where you have confirmed rules that you uh, interpret in the same way whether you do it today tomorrow or next week using screenshots helps a lot with giving past examples now there are going to be situations that are unique and you're not sure how to interpret or how to decide and then you have to maybe think about a new rule right uh, I don't know uh, right you know there was just a situation you didn't think about yet for instance and uh, and then make sure that when you backtest it, you capture all trades and not skip any trades because you missed it, because you see the, the future, you see already all the charts, of course, so you might not be aware, you might accidentally not capture or not write down some of these trades because you see it didn't work out. Or So, uh, yes, writing down the rules... Um, clearly interpreting them in the same way throughout time capturing all trades uh, is three important steps and what you can do to make sure that you have everything correct is really just double checking your work maybe even triple checking depending you know how, i don't know it's up to you but that helps because doing one time the first thing you know one thing the first time is prone to mistakes if you're not using at least the ea if you're manually back testing at least right uh, so double checking that makes sense. Working with someone else, letting the you know letting your, each other check each other's work helps. Um, and there was one more tip, but how I forgot. Um, yeah, probably doing. I don't remember, but anyhow, another tip could be doing part of that back testing small bits but every day 
and checking what you did the day before as well right away maybe so that yeah then then it just becomes a little you know you can rely on that back testing data more and more of course manual work is always prone to some imprecise errors and stuff like that but if you if you do that then it should be less and it should get to a spot that you can reasonably rely on it and if you like it you might even think about trying to make an ea out of it or just keep trading manually of course the difference between ea is that when i'm when i'm trading this 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 uh ea this the system i'm creating now for the four hour or working on now for the four hour chart which i've been already working on for for a year now but with some slight changes of course uh not it's difficult to capture all of the rules necessarily in an ea it's not that easy in some ways it's actually easier to trade manually because capturing all rules in an ea is uh, it's quite some work in some cases with some rules at least that's my experience at least but yeah i'm, I'm going to continue working on on both of course um but uh, yeah in some cases some some rules might be easy for us to interpret let me say it this way as as human traders but codifying that into some rule that can be interpreted on this in the same way with clear rules is not always that easy for something that is logical to us i mean that's that's at least my experience but maybe some programmer would uh think that everything is programmable <laughs> so but that's at least my experience uh let's see ali saying ah, i was mentioning the article of uh, the weekend uh, yeah that was just in case you're not sure what that was about that's um an example of one trade one analysis from very beginning to start it's a little bit lengthy the article i'm warning you but maybe it's interesting for you to really go th from a to z through all the steps of really let's say a 360 degree analysis then uh, on different time frames so that could be uh, a good thing to learn from ali in, in case uh, uh i can see uh said it was excellent so that's i'm happy to read that Uh, the system I'm looking for is short, short, not uh, for such big swings, actually, uh, more uh, for short targets and ha having a higher win rate and less trade management. And that's mainly because of the time aspect. So using pending orders with breakout so that I just have to keep an eye on uh, on the trigger, place the pending, put the stop loss TP and do very scarce trade management you know some but not very very mildly and uh so that it, it requires as little time as possible now with the ea that could be different with an ea like with ultimate ea we might aim for bigger targets uh because the ea is doing the work and then aiming for such big targets might make sense indeed that's what ultimate is doing it's aiming at times the least for bigger targets not always it depends on the trend actually but if the trend if the if the trade is with the trend then it at times can aim for bigger uh, bigger targets but also besides the trend it also depends on the price swings and the fib levels so it's uh it's a complex ea the ultimate ea and uh but at times it manages to really capture some some great win streaks there with my manual trading i'll be aiming for smaller targets all right that's i guess it folks oh yeah i wanted to check if there were any questions actually in the form do you have any questions I have another question actually from an EA, Ultimate EA renter. Uh, and his account is down. 
over those six months. And ours is up. So, f well, let me first uh, explain that, of course, some of that profit obviously was not necessarily gained in the last six months. Uh, so some of that profit is from before that. So let's take a look. Six months ago was mid-March. So let's see. Mid-March is here. About 545. Now true, it's up since then compared to 545. But it's been through some roller coasters, as you can see. Some nice up, some down, some up, then down, and up, then down. So um, ultimately, my account after a, more than a year is massively up. But of course, there are some ups and downs, and that's normal with any system. So certainly depends on when you joined. I mean, if you were unlucky, some traders were unlucky enough to start actually at this peak, right? So at the beginning of June, for instance. So uh, if you, I think actually Rob started at that point, indeed, the 10th of June. Right, so my account is also down compared to that moment. You see, this this current 21st of September is lower than the peak at the beginning of June. I have the same actually. So Rob, unfortunately, indeed, just very unlucky timing that you started right at that peak. Uh, had to see one of the deepest drawdowns we had, actually then a recovery, but the recovery hasn't gone into positive territory for you. So that's, that's unlucky uh, if you started here at this peak. Other traders started end of January, right before this boost up. They're a little, you know, a bit luckier. So the starting moment can certainly have an impact on, uh, on your performance in the short term. In the long term, of course, we hope that the EA will prove itself as it has in the last uh, year uh, and two months for me. And uh, although the ups, there are ups and downs, keep moving up eventually. So for me personally, it didn't make a new high since the beginning of June either, um, as you can see. So, but all in all, in those year and um, two months, it made a, a relative gain of 832%. Uh, yeah, so that's one thing. Uh, it's... A lot of, you know, six months ago, mid-March. Since mid-March, it is up, correct. For me, at least, it is up indeed. But as you can see, there are many moments that, yeah, if a trader started here beginning of July, the trader would be already up. So could have been, you know, in many ways, uh, there are many moments that are better starting spots and many moments that are worse starting spots, if you know what I mean. So could be very unlucky. For instance, I added capital after this peak up. And while that was a hefty and long sideways move after adding that capital. So I had to also sh remain patient with that. Seems maybe easy now in retrospect, but that was three months and uh, also took some uh, patience and some discipline from my side not to uh, get impatient with that. So that's just that, that's why it's important to trade with capital that you can afford to risk. Anyhow, let me get back to the question. Uh, if your account is down, then that would probably point out to either missing trades or intervening with trades. We see a lot of rental traders uh, changing either deleting pending orders or exiting trades early or changing stop losses. So if you start to intervene in the trades, then uh, the EA will not work as the long-term kind of, how it's long-term intended to. So far, we haven't seen any rental EA trader actually beat the ultimate EA performance. So the decisions in aggregate in the long run are often worse than the, the EA itself. Maybe there's one or you know a few decisions that are better than the EA, 
But in the long run, we haven't seen, if, and if you're an exception, please let us know. I would gladly hear from you. If you are able to make manual intervention decisions that outbeat the EA, let us know. I would really love to hear from you. But so far, we haven't seen that. So a lot of traders are doing that. I'm not saying it's you, uh, the one in the forum, the person in the forum who wrote us. Maybe you're not, but a lot of traders are, to be honest. So that could be one reason. Maybe it's not valid for you. I don't know. Second could be the spread uh, and uh, the broker. I don't know if, you're, if your broker is what kind of spread they're charging and commissions. That can add up. If it's a normal spread, then it could also just be the, the price feed, which is different with the broker. And that can also have a significant impact. So if you want to uh, copy, have the same results as the profit share group, that everyone has the same results uh, on that, then it could be better to, uh, to trade with the profit share model so that there's always the same result. Uh, we didn't have that in the past. Now uh, we do. There's a connection between the profit share group and uh, Mislav so that the trades are, uh, I think, almost the same or totally the same or at least almost the same. Whereas in the past, there was a bigger gap between the results and between the trades taken. So we wanted to change that to reduce the uh, you know, annoyance and also have more consistent gains, or more consistent, I mean, result, uh, outcomes. So if for whatever reason, the renting doesn't go as you like, and I don't know, it's difficult for me to understand, to pinpoint the exact cause, profit share model might be better than for you. But if you were intervening in trades, then that could be one thing to improve, not to do that, or maybe work with a different broker or, you know, those could be things if you want to keep renting to think about how to improve that. All right, folks, thanks so much for being here. Uh, thanks, Ali, for uh, the comments and thanks uh, for letting us, let us let me know about the article. Uh, and thanks, Rob, too, for reaching out with your question and everyone else. Uh, we're going to be back next week once again with the Rush EA Two weeks from now with a special webinar on the LOAEA. So, and October promises, I think, more exciting announcements, but more on that in, in October. So, hopefully see you soon and wish you all good trading. Cheers. Oh, one more thing, by the way. If you're interested, once again, in trying the LOAEA, you can try it with the sponsor version for free or... 40% uh, for one-time fee here, $2.99. And you can start trading with LOA EA right now already, in fact. All right, cheers. Bye-bye.